Hello everyone, this is Robert Hoffman. Uh, so this is another follow along for absolute beginners. And I don't mean like normal beginners, I mean those of you that are computer nerd stereotypes, people that are just absolutely scared, frozen to dance, to move, who don't even feel like they can find the rhythm of the song. We're gonna take you from ground absolute zero of just a basic bounce to a song and get you familiar. And this is gonna be an extended one. It's gonna be a bit longer than the ones in the past so that uh, through osmosis and through time, you can slowly kind of hypnotically start to just intuit this feeling of a bounce to uh, music. And we're gonna not stray from that very much. So if you're a, a beginner or if you're not someone who feels completely estranged to music and dancing, this is not for you. It's gonna be very slow, very, very basic. Uh, you'll get a light workout, uh, but a lot of fun. The song is going to be Jumpman by Drake and Future. So uh, let's get into it. And keep in mind, uh, the footage has been reversed, so if I say right-handed, it's your right hand. You don't have to do any of that work for yourself. Okay, so as soon as that ba beat drops, I'm actually just going to have you snap your fingers to the beat. So I want you to snap your fingers to whatever you think is the downbeat, okay? Do it now, and then I'm going to come in and snap my fingers to the downbeat and see if you were able to find it. It's always syncopated, meaning the time between it is always even. Keep going. Now I'm going to go. So that's the downbeat. Okay, I'm going to let go. Let's see if you can hold it. Try to hold that downbeat. Because you're always going to be moving to that. Generally speaking, you're either going to be bobbing down or you're going to be bobbing up to the downbeat. Okay. That's the downbeat right there. You want to always, every song has a pretty immediately identifiable bounce or downbeat or rhythm. Uh, and to expand just a little bit so you don't get confused for the over analytical types like myself, this can also be. Or. But in general, the kind of middle ground that everyone will kind of intuitive will kind of intuit is this. Right around here is like that middle ground, right? Obviously, if you go too fast, that's still syncopated. That's still a bounce of this song. But that's a bit much to be dancing to constantly. Whereas this, it's a little too slow. It doesn't feel dancey, right? It's the middle one. That's your bounce. That's the downbeat. Okay, now check this out. Just watch real quick as you continue to clap your hands, okay? Um, anytime you're in the car, clap your hands to the downbeat. Okay, you're gonna slowly but surely train your body to just always understand the feeling of where a bounce or a downbeat is in a song, right? Now watch, there's generally two ways at the lowest limit of movement to dance to dance music or pop music. It's either I'm going down, 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 or I'm going to go up, up, up. That's pretty much it. And that's all you need to know, by the way. As long as you can do one, go ahead and start to uh, do what I'm doing as I talk to you, okay? As long as you can just do this, you don't need to do more than this. When you're being social, dancing, being cool, this works anywhere. I can do this anywhere and it won't look weird, it won't look undercooked. As I've talked about in other uh, follow along tutorials, doing much more than this because you feel like you should is where you're gonna look silly. You only wanna do what feels natural and what I want to do for you is get it to where this feels natural to you. This should feel easy. Up is a little less conventional, so now that you've felt up, let's go down with it. Down. Down. There's no math to it, okay? Our body is this very uh, morphy kind of thing. You just kind of let your body and shoulders kind of go down in front a little bit, okay? It's not specific, it's just generally speaking, dropping, kind of dropping, dropping, yeah? Okay, as soon as that song comes on, we're gonna just keep going, same thing over and over again. So you can already hear in those uh, synths, you can already immediately tell where the beat is, more or less. Especially if you know the song. Yeah, it's right there, and that's it. That's it. So right now I'm kind of going side to side with it. And like, so obviously like my shoulders are kind of doing a little thing where they're catching up with my, or my head's kind of snapping back and my shoulders are going down. There's nothing specific about that. That's just kind of what's happening to me as I keep dropping. So if you love this song and you know the, 
you might like to throw something like that up just because you know that the little ah was coming, right? But this is all you need. So now I'm back to going back now. For whatever reason, the downbeat made me want to go back now. Yeah, so just keep this up. If you're off the rhythm, if you're getting screwed up, don't worry. Um, with something like this, there's a lot of intuition that's going to help you out. So just keep going, stick with me through this whole roughly 15 minute journey we're going to take. And eventually it'll start to unconsciously make sense to you. Don't worry about you computer non-dancer types. You can't overthink this. It's something you can't write out. You can talk about it, but you can't define it. So just continue to throughout this whole session. Keep letting your body just intuitively match and feel what I'm feeling. Yeah, take a moment right now and just try to clear your mind and literally imagine you're the one doing what I'm doing right now. Don't, do not worry about if you look stupid. Don't worry about getting it right. Don't think about anything other than just letting your body believe it's the body being watched. And see if you can't start to intuitively feel what I'm feeling as I'm kind of writing this song, right? So my body's enjoying this song and I'm bouncing to the real obvious downbeat. And then the more you feel it, you let yourself get into it. Honestly. And that's it. Something this simple and you'll look like a really comfortable, confident, cool person. You don't have to you don't have to do any of that stuff. You know, that's a that's a performance. That's a battle cipher approach. And you usually don't have any room to do that socially. Usually, unless you're like in a cipher or in a circle of people freestyling, you're not gonna have room for all the crazy stuff. That's all you need right here. Okay, so I'm gonna loosen up my body a little bit, and I encourage you to start to let your body loosen up a little bit. Even if it's not making sense, even if you're not still on the music, don't worry about it. Just see what happens as you start to uh, loosen up a little bit. So obviously I'm still uh, moving to the downbeat, but I'm kind of like doing a double, double, double side to side. I'm kind of going back, double, back, double, back, double. My feet are just kind of helping with this general effect. Yeah? Cool, great. Uh, don't start thinking, don't start analyzing. Keep in mind, this is an intuitive process, and let's just keep going. And obviously, like, my body starts to take on the personality and the attitude of the song. It seems a little creepy, a little thuggy, a little hoodie. So I'm just getting a little, you know, like I'm creeping through a horror set or something. But it's always that downbeat. Which I think it should go without saying, but if you know a song, you can any point you want, you can dance to or emphasize like the vocal inflections he's doing right now. Right? So we knew the lyrics were gonna do that, so I can ride that part of the song. So obviously at any point you want, if it's a song you know, you can delineate and match your movements, bouncing, shaking, punching you know actual moves, waving, or whatever, to the part of the song you like, fine. But your bass line is always just that bounce. Get out of your head. If you're getting in your head, don't go there. Just keep intuitively absorbing what it's like to consistently move with a syncopation, which means evenly spaced timing. Syncopation. And just with this kind of like an easy, swaggy bounce. So these arm gestures, there's nothing specific, special, or interesting. Or it's just kind of letting myself casually move. And none of it ever should be out of obligation or trying. It's kind of the big catch 22 of dancing. It's got to come out of pleasure or like a spontaneous must. Like, I just feel the song, so I gotta. Right? But never, if you feel like you're trying to do it, it's the wrong way. 
You want to just move uh, anytime you get a chance, just kind of let yourself bounce to music until this becomes intuitive and effortless, right? Then you're good to go. You can always just go out and you just, you're on the beat. You just don't want to be not on the beat. That's kind of where things get weird. Don't be not on the beat and don't try to do a bunch of fancy shit if it isn't something you're doing totally like playfully, carelessly. If you want to try to do something but you do not give a damn, then you're going to be the coolest guy at the spot. Like the guy that just goes totally nuts and doesn't care, that's inspiring. But you got to be fully committed to that. If there's a speck of self-consciousness on you, it's not going to work and you just need to resort to just casually enjoying the beat. And you will look just as cool as anybody else, just as comfortable, just as normal. As your body slowly discovers little things it wants to do. Right? It's very easy, intuitive stuff. Uh, if you go learn fancy tricks, just learn them really good and commit. Like you gotta really commit to that step. You can't half step with it. That's where um, any, any dancer, freestyle or choreography dancer, we know like you have to be fully committed or everyone's gonna feel uncomfortable watching you. Yeah? So we'll do this song and then we'll do one more version and I think that should be enough time for you to really start to get the feeling of what it's like to just be in the bounce of the song. Now, again, none of these are moves. The small stuff I'm doing is just variations my body slowly changes into without trying. Because eventually if I just go like this forever, it's not happening, right? My body naturally wants to go to the side with it now, front with it, shake with it a little bit. And because I'm shaking with it, it's like, okay, my arms are circling, so I'll circle more. And then my body wanted to like go off his... So right now I'm doubling up on the bounce, right? Instead of duh, duh, I'm going duh, 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 but I'm still working off the, bait, uh, the bounce of the song. I'm still working off of the downbeat. Always synchronized. So I'm gonna show you like the stereotype of bad dancing real quick and you'll see all it is is arrhythmical. It doesn't have any rhythm. See, there's nothing about that that matched the bounce of the song. Okay, so that's your biggest key to becoming a comfortable social dancer. It's just always, no matter what song, you can immediately find the downbeat of it. And I think I said that earlier, but keep that in mind. Whenever you hear a song on the radio, start to find the downbeat. If you're with somebody, say, do I have the downbeat? Is this the syncopation of the song? And most people will be able to answer you yes or no. And once you have that, then you know, just bounce. Just relax, bounce, enjoy the song. If you feel emphasis, go ahead and give an emphasis. If you've seen somebody brush their shoulder off or something, then just go for it, yeah? Just don't try to do something to validate what's happening, but rather just know that that's all you need is right here. If you want to become a great dancer, if you want to like learn lots of tricks and be an impressive freestyler, go for it. That's fine. But that doesn't come from pushing yourself or thinking you're supposed to in a moment. That comes from years of learning steps so that you always have something to interpret or change or explore or spontaneously put onto a moment in a song. It's not about... That's a training thing. But social dancing is just relaxing into the beat. And just knowing that all you need is this synchronization to the music. That's all you need right here. That's all you need. And now no one, you don't stand out, it's, everyone's doing it. In fact, you probably look more comfortable than most people just being able to do this. So right now I'm going back on the downbeat. For whatever reason, this song has been kind of leading me into going back with the downbeat. Well, it doesn't matter. You can even go side. I think, yeah, I think in experimenting with this feeling right now, I'm realizing probably just kind of like the, the current posture that we all kind of share in our, with pop songs and hip hop songs and stuff like that is kind of either a down or a back. I think that's kind of like the attitude-y aspect of our current pop culture and music. Whereas this kind of feels more like um, old school Lundy Hoppy Swingy yeah. stuff. So try to keep it a little more. 
which probably kind of mimics like a, like a, a gesture of in your face. It probably is like reminiscent of hostility maybe. And pulling back is maybe almost like reminiscent of like, like pushing people away like, you know, like you're too cool or whatever. So we either keep it down, you can just side to side it, or come back with it. And you can step together, it's like the most basic of social dance footwork. You don't even need to add this, you really don't. But if you want somewhere to go with it, And you can obviously just anything you want to change to the front. Yeah, you just finish this song and just trust that consuming unconsciously what I'm doing right now and just allowing your body to have the time to experiment and slowly but surely find a comfort and a confidence with just consistently moving to the downbeat of a song, this is all you need. If you're somebody that's afraid to get up and dance or move at all, this is, I'm telling you, I promise, if I wanna, I'm known as a very good dancer and I would have no problem doing exactly what I'm doing right now in any social event and feeling like people notice that I'm a great dancer. Yeah, just a sim simple, that's all you need. Okay? There's no magic trick to it, there's no secret. It's just, it's just owning that downbeat and then allowing yourself to just enjoy owning the downbeat. That's it. But don't go side to side. I think we've discovered, I mean you can, like I could make something very cool out of that. But casually, just for your first grooves, just either down or back. And obviously, like when the beat comes in, whatever that makes you feel like doing, let just own it, you know? Also, definitely record yourself, because objectively you'll be able to see exactly when you're like just grooving and feeling cool, and you'll be able to tell when you tried something and it looks a little awkward because you were like trying as opposed to just being. And of course, I have a lot of other tutorials of learning simple moves like, you know, glides and waves and stuff like that. So feel free to learn those things totally. But my first job is to get you out of your computer desk and just bouncing and feeling completely comfortable anywhere you go, synchronizing with the music and being a part of the group. Yeah? Cool, cut the music. All right, cool, man. So uh, trust me, you have no idea how much has happened for you unconsciously. It's not something that's gonna register too immediately, but um, what you will probably notice is over the next coming days, especially if you do this uh, tutorial a couple different times, uh, you'll start to see that there's just something that's just automatic for you with music. And if you've never done that before, hopefully it's gonna feel really good to you because that's what I live for. Anyway, um, oh, I'm late for the bus.